Well, we have to write out the half equations for what happened in electrolysis. Here's my electrolytic cell, and let's use a lead bromide liquid, melted lead bromide. My teacher did this when I was a kid, releasing lead fumes, gives you brain damage, and bromine vapor, which is a terrible, terrible thing that you could use as a weapon of mass destruction. All right, then, those are the two ions. The lead ion is attracted to the negative electrode, which is full of electrons, and two of those electrons come off of that electrode, go onto the lead, to make liquid lead. I thought lead was a solid. No, 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 this is very, very hot. You've had to melt the lead bromide, so it's going to be a liquid lead. The bromide ions are attracted to the positive electrode, and what happens there is that positive electrode will pull off that electron that's given them a negative charge. So minus one electron in this case. And it's going to make bromine. Now bromine's diatomic, so I have to put Br2, and now I have to balance it out a bit. It's going to be a gas because it's hot, not a liquid like at room temperature. Okay, I've balanced that equation to make diatomic bromine. So two electrons are pulled off of the bromide and pumped around to the negative electrode where the lead picks them up. Electrons don't want to do that. That's what the power supply is for. It puts electrons where they don't want to go. They don't want to be pulled off the bromide and put onto the lead. Let's try the rather obscure silver nitride. This is the hardest one I can think of for SL. So those are my two ions. Let me label my power supply. The negative electrode attracts the silver ions by electrostatic attraction. The positive electrode, the nitride ions. So silver ions grab an electron and turn into liquid silver. And the nitride ions, well, they have three electrons ripped off. Oh, we've got to make N2. So let's rebalance that. It's going to be six electrons pulled off. OK. Oh, that dot, let's get rid of that. So an evil question that you might be asked is, let's say there's six electrons. How many silver atoms are going to be made? And how many nitrogen molecules? Well, I'm going to make one molecule of nitrogen. And by balancing that, it looks like I'm going to make six atoms of silver. Let's make it a little more complicated. If we were to say six moles of electrons going around, well, you can rebalance it and work it out yourself. So why do people do this? Well, it's possible uh, for reactive metals such as aluminium to be extracted from their ores by this process.